We love you, and we've got to go. And uh, we'll take good care of your daughter, Isabella. We love you, and adios. I'm Darcel. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bazooka! This is Darcel Stevens and Tales from the Dressing Room. And, and you most certainly may, Chantel DeMarco. I uh, sure do, because I'm a professional queen that comes prepared. Very good. And you know what? You have a, she has a whole stash. Look at her. Um, this is all about sass and not Chantel. But um, I just wanted to say a special edition of uh, Tales from the Dressing Room. You'll be singing it tonight. Uh, also Saturday, and then finally on Sunday. This is Sassy's final week as a Thank footlight you. player. Didn't she just throw my shit back down there? She did. <laughs> I, was, I, was like, oh. I saw she guarded, and then she said, fuck I almost this. told you Bobby. I was like, Bobby, I was, I'm, putting, I'm putting it down. Yeah. Anyways, I, uh, yeah. If you ever go to Cuba and expect your shit to be thrown Run. back in the box. Oh, yeah. Girl, oh my God. You and Sassy yeah. are yeah. giving me grief. Yeah, yeah. 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 So but anyway, good. it's all about Sassy. Um, <laughs> uh, it's just that. I, I just want to... Oh, my God. There's just so much going on. Should have uh, done this with the room empty. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to say oh my God. that um, as the steward of this fabulous ragtag militia called the Footlight Players, um, I just want to say it's been a fantastic, how many, eight, nine eight years? Eight and a half. Uh, Sassy has bought, oh, she's bought something. Every girl brings a little something different to the Footlight Players, and I've been here long enough so I'm able to see it. And Sassy has bought a distinct element of class. And uh, and uh, along with her fabulous beauty and all of her voluptuousness, I guess that's the word, voluptuousness. Voluptuousness. Well, there we go. That's it. And um, <laughs> it's been a treat I'm to be with her for right these now. many oh. years. Um, wherever she goes, you're going to have a fine entertainer on your hand. And I can say this from every entertainer that's been here as a Footlight player since I've been here. Yeah. When you go someplace else, you always get a top act. Now, they might get fucked up. But but when they start out, they're doing a yeah. it's a Mary, class. Mary, get act. fucked up here. But um, <laughs> I'm gonna, with all seriousness, I'm gonna miss her dearly. I rely upon her, and um, it's gonna be a loss that gonna take me a while to get over. Oh, but the show must wait. go on, yeah, and um, and I just wish her the voice. best of luck, just the best of luck. I love you, thank you. Oh, the best oh my gosh, she's gonna and cry. So, <laughs> no, I'm not crying. No, we'll be okay. crying tomorrow. We'll be so fine. there's oh, Sassy, and, and contrary to popular belief, she didn't I get. I didn't fired. fire her. I did. okay. Michael Sharp, I was not. Michael fired. Sharp, she did not get fired. <laughs> but this is from Darcel. Darcel. She didn't get fired. You Darcel, bitch. you're taking her to lunch on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Bye everybody. No, we'll see you tomorrow. Well, she'll be able to talk a little bit more. Bitch. We'll we'll get some words from her yeah, as to what her direction yeah. is before uh, she leaves. But uh, this has been a special edition of Tales from the Dressing Room, and we will have to, we can't go any further without throwing Giselle in it because it's been a monumental day for her. Oh her mama, her stepdaddy, her she brother, her sister, her sister, her sister. Mary, I'm not even 30 yet. How old are you, Giselle? Oh Today I turned 27. Oh, fuck you. Oh, oh, so shut that oh, camera. Giselle, oh, tell me, how did it make you feel with your parents, your mama being here? Honestly, uh, I'm not going to make this about me. It no, is, no, tell them is, about it you. Is, no, it is. No, and the reason I want them to tell you because so many so many of us don't have the love of our parents. You, and I want I, them to I'll, know. I'll say this. It baffles me, the love that I have, that my mother has for me every single time. Sometimes I can't, even, I can't really even describe it because... She has this unconditional love for her child, and sometimes I may steer away from her because I want to kind of live who I am just in my own privacy, away from my siblings, but my own siblings even embraced me, and they were actually able to come here tonight and see me perform for the first time, and they meant a lot to me. And thank you, Dana, so much because you laid it out for them, and you made them feel presidential. And that meant the world to me. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And I'm going to miss you, Sassy. Well, I'll cry later, but yeah, I've already been crying, but I miss you, Sassy. I'm going to cry out loud. We'll keep it inside. We'll learn how to hide our feelings. So anyways, we got to go. It's been a great night. And uh, we're looking forward to tomorrow. And tomorrow's another day. God bless you all. This has been Darcel Stevens. Tales from the dressing room. Toodles. And Chantel still doesn't have any clothes on.